Welcome back to guns.com. My name is Taylor and today we are talking about the Battle Arms Development Workhorse Series. So Battle Arms Development developed their workhorse series as just sort of their standard mil spec basic AR, right? So Battle Arms Development really came into the industry producing very high end competition style rifles. So they came out with these several years ago in an effort to just bring something to the market that is more of your baseline standard AR. So we have just their standard workhorse. This is 16 inch barrel, um, very typical configuration. And then we also have their patrol. Now what's interesting is I did quite a bit of research. This is my first time really handling these firearms. I've shot Battle Arms Development actually in competition for probably about five or six years now. Um, I have one of their firearms that I built myself with a lot of the same components, which includes some of the enhanced features. So that is what the patrol is supposed to have. I did some research online and everything said that the patrol simply has the enhanced features. It's about $300 more. But what's interesting is upon receiving these firearms, the only differences that I could see with the patrol move over here. So we have the enhanced and by charging handle. So we have a nice big grip right here. You go on both sides. And then you also have the 45 degree enhanced safety lever. Outside of that, they do have the enhanced trigger guard. So that's designed for gloves. And uh, otherwise I can't really see any differences between the two. Um, online, everything that I saw in research talked about uh, some of the other parts, but it's actually the same. So let's go over that. So some of the other enhanced parts that comes from Battle Arms Development, which you're gonna get over some of the other standard ARs that might be on the market from other manufacturers, is the enhanced takedown pins. So that's what's nice is without any sort of tools, I can literally push it in and pull out the takedown pins very, very easily. It's a snap. You also have their grip right here. So this is a three position grip based on what you as a shooter need for an angle. Their stock is a six position stock. It's really comfortable. And there's also not a lot of wobble in it, which is great. Uh, this is not a smooth side upper receiver. We do have the dust cover. They both come with that right? Pretty standard stuff. And then outside of that, what's really nice is that you do have their 16 inch Roscoe uh, barrel in here, very reputable barrel company. You have the 15 inch uh, handguard right here and then the flash suppressor. Very standard stuff, but the enhanced parts do make this step above a lot of the other ARs that are out there and they shoot great. So the balance of these firearms is excellent. They've done a really good job in terms of them. Now, again, in terms of the patrol, I'm not sure if it's worth $300 more. If this were me, I would just go with the standard workhorse and make all the upgrades that you need on your own. Uh, but let's get on the range, shoot these things and see how they are. All right, so this is my first time shooting the Battle Arms Development Workhorse. I've been shooting one of their firearms in competition for quite a while now, so I'm really curious uh, to see how it compares. Super solid shooter. Um, overall, I mean, feels like an AR, right? So this one again has some enhanced parts over a lot of the other ARs on the market. Um, I'm gonna get a little bit of a rapid fire through this thing. Let's do some double taps, see what it's like. Nice. Let's fill that trigger. So this has got, uh, trigger feels pretty solid. Nice, clean trigger break, super solid. Not a ton of take up. I would say for a straight out of the box trigger, that's pretty solid. So we'll throw some more rounds down it, see how it shoots, but so far, super solid. This gun has a nice swing to it. So basically what that means is the way that it's balanced when I'm holding it, it feels very nice and balanced. This is, it feels very light as well. Uh, so the goal with Battle Arms Development when they designed this gun was actually to have it come underneath. They wanted it underneath, I think it was uh, seven pounds. So it came in at like 6.3. Um, 
is what it actually turned out to be. Uh, so again, very lightweight for an out of the box gun. That's without an optic, of course. Uh, but let's uh, test her out some more and, and see how she runs. Hopefully this gives you a quick scoop on what is the deal with the Workhorse Series from Battle Arms Development. If you have any questions, please let me know. I would love to answer them. I wouldn't want to make sure um, to miss anything that you guys really want to get out of this video. Drop a comment, subscribe. You can find both of these on guns.com. My name is Taylor. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you next time.